it's Sophia welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time visiting my channel then welcome thanks for stopping by so today we are gonna do another Ulta haul sort of um, I basically just focus on getting a whole bunch of stuff from flower beauty because I've always wanted to try out Drew Barrymore's brand she launched it back in 2012 it's a cruelty free brand and her inspiration behind launching her own makeup line was just to create something that was really natural and made people feel pretty in their own skin so I am a big fan of that and um, it started being carried by Alta in the beginning of 2018 so I thought you know what why not and there's a free gift with purchase right now you get uh, the super cool travel bag if you spend $15 or more anyway so First, I'm just going to show you everything that I got from the line. I'm going to show you that travel bag that I got as a gift with purchase. And then I'm just going to do basically a first impression, get ready with me. And I'm going to do my whole face of makeup with just her line. Because let's be real, this, what's happening today is really scary. And as always, the star of the show is my dark circles. Okay. So first and foremost, let's just get this out of the way because it's the biggest item. So this is the gift with purchase. So like I said, I had to spend $15 in order to get this. It's a very cute bag. It's got like a Velcro kind of a flap. And then when you open it, it's got three different slots. This is kind of that kind of material. Um, it's got like little holes in it so that your stuff can breathe would be a perfect slot to put like a beauty blender in so that it doesn't get moldy while it's still wet. Then it's got this little flap, which is perfect size, I think, for keeping your brushes in. And then this see-through flap, which is perfect for putting all your makeup in. So I'm very excited to start using this. I will probably take this with me the next time I go up to Canada. Okay, so let's dive into the rest of the stuff. Okay. So of course I had to pick up one of these. This is her foundation. She's got two different foundations. This one is the Light Illusion Liquid Foundation and then she also has a stick format. But I'm always a much bigger fan of liquids so I got myself this one. It says this is a luminous makeup nude skin feel. All day wear broad spectrum SPF 18 and I got myself the shade Nude. So the packaging looks like that. It's really cute. Let me see. I want to see if it's got a pump. Yes, it sure does. It's got a pump applicator. Next, I pick myself up one of her eyebrow pencils. This is in the shade Dark Brunette, and it looks like it's one of those pencils that's got like the pencil on one side and then it's got the spoolie on the other side so I'm excited to give that a try and I also picked up one of her mascaras this is the flower lash warrior so it looks like this gives you volume and length and thickness and definition which is exactly what my lashes need so we will see how this works Okay, next I got myself a liquid eyeliner. We will see how well I am able to use this. It looks like the applicator is extremely skinny and I don't usually do a very good job with liners like that. So we will see, but I got myself the shade Onyx Ink. I think that was the darkest color that it came in. I also picked myself up one of these. This is one of her blushes. Super pretty design on the inside. It's got like a floral kind of an imprint and I got myself the shade Sweet Pea. So this just says it's a soft satin finish, easy to blend and buildable color. I also got myself one of these. This is apparently an Ulta exclusive. So this is called Beauty in a Flash and it's got three eyeshadow colors on the top and a bronzer, two blush shades as well as a highlighter. So that's a pretty sweet thing to take with you when you're traveling. So again, I'm probably gonna take this with me the next time I go up to Canada. 
And the last thing is a lipstick. I really like her packaging, by the way. It's very simple, but it's very kind of shabby chic. And this one is in the shade um, 055 Barrymore Matte. I kind of had to get it because of the name and also because it is a super pretty mauvey kind of a berry shade and I am all about those kinds of colors lately. I think just because I am not sure how pigmented these shadows will be and how much fallout there will be, I think I will just go ahead and do my eye makeup first and then do my face makeup like usual. So I'm going to go ahead and open all of these out of their packagings and bring you guys a little bit closer and I'll be right back. Okay, so the two things that I didn't get myself that were Flower Beauty are an eyeshadow primer and a face primer just because I did load up on a bunch of primers recently so I felt like it would be kind of wasteful for me to add yet another primer to my collection of primers. So I'm just going to prime my eye with my Urban Decay Shadow Potion. Okay, so I'm going to dive into this Beauty Flash palette. So I think what I'm going to do is go in with this mid-tone shade and place that all over my lid from my lash line up to my crease. I'm going to focus this into my crease and we'll use this. Actually, no, I'm sorry. I'm changing my mind. I'm going to use this on my brow bone. I'm going to put this all over my lid. I'm going to focus that in my crease as a blend out shade for that and then I'm going to place this into my outer corner. So I'm going to pick up this shade and I'm just going to wet my brush a little bit and just pack on the eyeshadow all over my lid. Wow. That is beautiful. That's a lot of color payoff. I'm just going to pack on a little bit more of it. It's a super beautiful, vibrant gold shade. I am impressed with that so far. It did pick it up a little bit chunky on the brush. I don't know if you guys can see that. So maybe this is an eyeshadow that's not really meant to be foiled, but... I love foiling my shadows lately. I think it just makes the shadows just look so much more vibrant and it's just easier to because since your brush is wet there is less fallout that gets underneath your eyes. Okay there we go so far so good. So now I'm going to pick up my favorite blending brush by BH Cosmetics and I'm going to go in with that mid-tone shade. Ooh, a lot of fallout from that so I got to be careful. And I'm just going to pack my brush and blend inward. So far so good. This color is also performing pretty well. Now that I actually have it on my lid, it looks a bit more of a burnt orange kind of a color. Sort of a very chestnutty kind of a brown, which is really pretty. There doesn't seem to be too terribly much fallout so far, so that's really good. I'm just going to deepen the socket line a little bit more on this side and bring down that color to my lower lash line a little bit as well. All right, and now I'm picking up a slightly more tapered crease brush like this and I'm going to go in with the deeper brown just into the outer corner. Ooh, wow, there's a lot of fallout on this eyeshadow too. It's making quite the mess in the palette, but it's okay. And I'm just going to focus that just into the outer corner. And I'm going to join it into the underneath outer corner as well. Now that I'm using this darker brown, there's quite a bit of fallout. So I think 
Doing my eye makeup first was definitely a good idea. I'm just going to add a little bit more of that gold just there into the center again just to make sure that gold is really standing out nice and bright. Now I'm just going to pick up that face highlighter. I'm just popping that onto my brow bone and I'm just going to pop a little bit of that into my inner corner as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with that liquid liner. I'm gonna come back to this later when we're doing the face portion. So I'm gonna use the liquid liner. Let's just see. We'll do a swatch on the back of my hand first. I'm curious to see how well it writes. That's what the applicator looks like. Oh wow, it writes really nice and thin. And the applicator is actually not as flimsy as I thought it would be. So maybe this is not going to be as hard as I thought it was going to be for me to use. And it's got a little bit of a stopper so that it helps not too much product come out on the applicator tip, which is nice. I'm not the best at doing my liquid liner on camera, so if I cover up some of it uh, with my hand, I do apologize. But basically, I always, always have to pull my eyelid a little bit tight in order to really see what the heck I am doing. Ooh, this is going on very wet. Yeah, that doesn't look half bad. I really like it. Although it went on very, very wet feeling and it did get a little bit into my lashes. Oh yeah, which definitely just came on onto my hands. Um, other than that, it went on pretty seamlessly. It was actually not too difficult at all. It only took like maybe two or three strokes to get it all the way across my eye. So I'm pretty happy with that formula so far. All right, time for the second eye. I am concentrating so hard. Wow, I am very impressed with um, this eyeliner and how easy it is um, to apply. And also at how quickly it is drying. Despite it going on extremely wet feeling, it is just drying down so quickly. Wow. I am impressed. The packaging does not claim to be um, like waterproof or like really long lasting or anything like that. It just says liquid eyeliner. So we will see how well this holds up. Okay, so now that the eyes are done, I am going to go ahead and go in with my concealer. That's another thing that I was not able to pick up from her line because they were out of my shade. Um, they only had light or medium dark. Um, so I would have needed the light medium or the medium at least. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my current favorite concealer, which is the Lancome Efficerns Waterproof. And I'm going to apply it with the It Cosmetics Fluffy Brush. That's for concealing. This is the Blending Concealer Brush Number 203. I absolutely love this brush. It just makes your concealer look so perfect and so airbrushed it is amazing i gotta say that other than the fallout being really bad with the eyeshadows other than that i am so far very impressed with uh this makeup line but for me, the true test is going to be to see how well the mascara performs and how well the foundation performs. Those are always kind of the two most important uh, makeup products in a collection for me. 
that's the biggest reason why I wear makeup is because my dark circles are so extremely bad. Um, I feel like if I put only concealer on, it would look quite odd. So I do have to put foundation on in order to kind of even everything out. But if I don't wear concealer, I definitely look like I haven't slept in weeks. Okay, there we go. I might do some more pinpoint concealing once the foundation is actually on. So for my primer, I'm going to use my First Light by Becca. I've been loving using this, the Lavender Hue in this primer just really helps to wake up my skin and moisturize it and just brighten it all at the same time. I am so excited to try out this uh, foundation. I'm always on the hunt for foundations that make your skin look more skin-like. Okay, so it's got a pump, so I'm just gonna go in uh, we'll do like one and a half pump. I don't want to use too much. We'll see how much of this I actually end up needing. It's kind of a thicker formula than I thought that it would be. Well, it's definitely a little bit darker than my skin tone, as you can see, but it's okay. We will work with it. It's going on a little bit more tacky and a little bit more dewy than I would like, but we will see what it actually ends up looking like once it dries down. But a little bit of this is definitely going a very long way. Okay, so that's pretty much half my face done. So you can see I still have a little bit of the foundation left. Like I said, I did use like one and a half pump. So one pump would have definitely been enough for covering just one side of my face. So I'll come a little bit closer so that you can see. It is starting to set a little bit, um, but it still does look quite dewy, which mm, I don't know if I'm a fan of quite yet. I do have normal to combination skin, so we will see, but you can definitely tell that just with one pump, it covered up all of my discoloration that I have going on, all of my old acne scars, and Overall, it did a very nice job. It looks very healthy. I did have to blend it up into my hairline just to make sure that it doesn't look so obvious that it's a slightly different color than my skin tone, but I can definitely see the difference. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Real Techniques brush on the other side so that I can get a feel for if I like applying it with a brush or with a wet beauty blender better. So I'm just going to use just one pump this time since I still have some product left from the other side. And I'm just going to dab this into my skin. This does have a very little bit of a smell to it. I can't quite put my finger on what it smells like. It's just kind of a clean scent, really. It doesn't bother me at all. It smells kind of nice, actually. Oh, wow, that did a good job of covering my pimple on my forehead. So this does still look quite wet. So since I am not about the dewy life, I am gonna go ahead and set this with a powder and hope that it takes away some of that blinding shine. So this foundation would be perfect for someone who has oily skin and what did I just say? <laughs> this foundation would be perfect for someone who has normal to dry skin. 
I was pretty certain that it was gonna have a dewy finish simply because it is called Light Illusion and it is um, a luminous makeup. So usually when they use the words dewy or luminous, it does allude to the fact that it's going to give you a high shine to the skin, which my skin definitely does not need. But I was just too curious to try out this foundation. Maybe I should have gotten myself the stick. I bet the stick is more for oilier skin types. So that's my bad. For my powder, I'm gonna use the Tarte Smooth Operator Clay Finishing Powder. I really hope that some of this shine will go away because huh, I don't like it. There we go, that's better. Whew. So before I use any more powder products, I am going to use the brow brush. So I'm just going to brush some of that powder residue that I'm sure is inevitably all over my poor brows after all that powdering. So that's what the pencil looks like. Quite a lot of pigment. I like it. Yeah, that's actually very easy to work with. I really like how fast and efficient that was. That hardly took any time at all. So now we're gonna go back to this guy and use that bronzer as well as the blush and the highlighter. So the bronzer looks like it's gonna be quite shimmery, so we will see if it even really shows up on my skin tone. Ooh, that is actually really surprisingly nice. Wow. I am pleasantly surprised at how nice that looks. That has a lot of pigment and a lot of punch to it very quickly. That's awesome. I love this bronzer. Wow. Okay, now we're gonna go in with that highlight. So now that we could see that the bronzer is so pigmented, I bet the highlighter will also be very pigmented, so let's... Um. Oh, yeah, there it is. Boom. She is beaming. That is beautiful. I love it. A little bit on my nose, above my lip, a little bit just in the center of my forehead. Okay, and now I'm conflicted if I want to try this blush or if I want to try one of the blushes from the palette. You know what? Let's just try this blush. I think that's about all the shine that my poor face can take. Look at how beautiful this blush is. It's gorgeous. The detailing is so pretty. Pretty, very pretty. I think this blush color is going to go much better with the lipstick as well. So now I'm going to do my mascara with this Lash Warrior. Okay, so the wand very much makes me think of the CoverGirl Clump Crusher, which was my favorite mascara for a very, very long time. So let's see how well this performs. So these shorter bristles, the ones that kind of curve, are supposed to be for the roots of the lashes. 
and then the longer end is supposed to be for you to go over and separate them. I am not mad about the way how that looks. I mean, I can't see far away very well, but I can see my lashes from all the way over here in the mirror. So that's got to be a good sign, right? I am impressed. I am really impressed. I mean, it's not making my lashes look quite as amazing and remarkable and fake lashy as the Mr. Big Mascara by Lancome, but that is not bad at all, and that's just with one coat. You know, I did get some on my lid, but check out those lashes. And last but not least, the lipstick. The formula feels very good. It feels very comfortable on the lips. It doesn't actually even really feel like I have anything on my lips, which is definitely always the kind of lip products that I look for. So this is the finished look. I am really happy with the way that it turned out. So now that we have tried everything, I would definitely have to say that the mascara, the eyeliner, and this palette, which is exclusive to Ulta, these are definitely my favorites from the line. The eyeliner was super easy to use. It dried very quickly. It still has not moved, which is amazing. The mascara did extremely well. I am very impressed by this mascara and I really like the wand as well. And yeah, that bronzer and that highlighter from this palette was just absolutely amazing. So I gotta say she did a great job on this uh, makeup line and I think I'm definitely going to be purchasing a lot more stuff from Flower Beauty. She has a lot more lip products and as soon as we have her concealer in stock in my color, I'm probably going to try that as well. So there you go. Definitely a big thumbs up for me for the Flower Beauty line. So if you haven't had the chance to check out this line yet and try out some of her makeup products, then I highly, highly recommend for you to try it. Especially if you have dry skin, I think you would really love this foundation formula. So that's it, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on my future uploads and I will see you again very soon. Bye!